Our series on clone commanders has been one of this channel's hallmarks for a long time and by this point we've covered pretty much everything. Today is a video somewhat in that vein but markedly different. Today we're going to be comparing them. In this video we'll be discussing the various leadership strategies used by clone commanders, their pros and cons and ultimately which one we consider the most effective. Clone commanders, like other clone officers, were selected by the Kaminoans to become commanders shortly after their creation, as with most other clone officers. They were trained separately from other clones, they were taught basic strategy and were encouraged to think a little bit more creatively, albeit with a deference to higher authority and with the same level of conformity that the Kaminoans enforced in all clones. As the Clone Wars went on, lower ranking clones were often promoted to commander by Jedi generals due to ingenuity or other traits, diversifying the pool a little bit. That said, most non-arc trooper commanders were generally the same until after the mission to rat attack. Before we dive into individual styles, let's start with what was easily the least effective command style that we'll be examining here, the Normie method. This is what the Kaminoans taught clone commanders and as a default, it wasn't very effective. While some commanders were able to improve upon this style with experience, in the form that it was taught, this would rank dead last in this list. The Kaminoans trained the commanders not to be commanders, but to be liaisons to the Jedi, a task that they were only moderately good at at first. This command style is characterized by a rather Kaminoan methodology. Clones were treated like units, not like men, and they were commanded however the Jedi in charge wanted them to be commanded. The effectiveness of this style was entirely based on the effectiveness of the command style of the Jedi above the clone commander, and has no real value on its own. Things began to change however when Alpha 17 stepped into the picture. An ARC trooper and clone liaison to Obi-Wan Kenobi, Alpha 17 retired from the front lines after being rescued on rat attack and went back to Kamino to fix the Grand Army's clone commanders. He started a program that would retrain clone officers to be more like ARC troopers, independent, tactically capable, and capable of independently leading their units. This resulted in a wide variety of command styles, many of which drew inspiration from Alpha's own way of doing things. First up, we have Captain Rex's command style. Rex was a bit laid back for a commander, he gave his men plenty of free reign, he sought input from them at all times and he treated them as brothers, not inferiors. The result of this was the 501st Legion that we all know and love, effective, skilled and tight knit. The pros are obvious, but there are cons to this leadership style too. Rex's style worked out well because the 501st Legion was composed of some of the best clones in the entire Republic. If it was applied to a poor clone unit however, it might have been much less effective. Free reign and trooper input can lead to disaster as well as victory. On the other side of the spectrum we have Commander Neo. Neo, as we've said in past videos, was a bit soulless. He didn't care much at all about his men and was focused primarily on results. He had a bit of an apathetic command style, he got involved when he needed to, and other than that, he mostly left it to the Jedi, as far as we know. Neo's primary focus was on tactics and combat, and to be fair to him, he was quite skilled in the latter, and a genius with the former. Like Rex's, his command style has pros and cons. On the plus side, it worked. The Jedi and other clone officers took care of the 91st Reconnaissance Corps and allowed it to become one of the most effective units in the Grand Army. Once more though, it has potential cons too. If Neo had been paired with less effective Jedi, things might have gone differently for all his tactical skill. Next up, we have the leadership style of Commander Bakara. Commander of the Galactic Marines, Bakara was a hard ass. He was ruthless when it came to leading his men and he demanded the best possible results. He pushed his men very hard, even ordering them to fight droids with their bare hands at one point and micromanaged the unit, unilaterally transferring clones that he deemed subpar out of the Galactic Marines. This strategy did work however. The Galactic Marines were some of the most effective clones in the galaxy. There are definite pros to this command style, especially since it relied only on the commander and not the men given to the commander or his commanding Jedi. The cons however are fairly obvious. While they were effective, I don't exactly think the Galactic Marines had the highest morale in the Grand Army. And finally, we have Commander Cody's command style. Cody's style was interesting, he was a bit of a mix of all of the above. Like Rex, he trusted the men of the 7th Sky Corps and treated them with respect. Like Neo, he often let the Jedi handle it, which worked well with Kenobi. And like Bakara, Cody was a bit of a hard ass at times, though not as much as Bakara was. Combine these with basic Kaminoan commander protocol and as it turns out, you get a very reliable command style. Really, the most effective command style for a clone commander depended on the unit he led and the Jedi he served under. All of the runner-up styles worked well in their respective situations. 
but in general, I think Commander Cody actually wins here. His style was effective and took the best of each of the other styles here while addressing their drawbacks. It was a good match for the unit he led and the man he served under, and it's one of the reasons why Cody was considered one of the Republic's best, especially in leadership. But that of course is just our own opinion, and as per usual guys, I wanna know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are we correct in our analysis that Cody's command style was the best, or do you disagree with us? And I'm sure many of you will because clone command styles are actually kind of hard to pinpoint as which one's the best. So I'm sure many of you will think Rex's or even Makara's was better than Cody's. But in our opinion, as we stated before, Cody's was just a nice mix of all the rest. And uh, if any of you think Nao's was the best, then um, you might be a psychopath. So, so make sure you head to your nearest 91st Reconnaissance Corps recruiting center at your earliest convenience. Anyways guys, just before you go, make sure you check out my Patreon and all the links in the description below if you want to join the wider Geetsies community, including our Geetsies gaming network and all of our discords so you can interact more with the community and play games with the community. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.